we have seen the object oriented programming features followed by the inheritance and everything and polymorphisms undoubtedly so today what we have to see we have to see what is mean by the file handling in the python programming so here i am writing what is the topic we will see today we will see file handling in python programming that is a more important concept for those student who are looking for the project and they need to handle everything by the file handling so it will help to them so python 2 supports uh, file handling and allows users to handle files for example to read and write files along with the many other files format and uh, different options we have so other files handling options we have that is used to operate the files the concept of the file handling has stretched over various other languages but the implementation is either complicated or lengthy but like other concepts of python this concept here is also easy and short so python treats files differently as text or binary formatted and this is important to us because what we are, we will create we will create any file we will define any file we will write anything on the file we will read some data from the file that could be formatted by the two format one is a text or either we can say the for binary so each line of the code includes a sequence of the characters and they form a text file each line of a file is terminated with a special character called a uh, eol and this eol means end of the line please keep in mind this is a very interview question anyone can ask in short and way what is mean by the eol eol means end of the line in the file file handling concept it is also similar to the c c++ and java any other programming language we are handling the file so eol will be applicable eol means end of the line that can be used by the curly braces or comma depend on the uh, programming language or the new line characters we can say so it ends the current lines and tells the interpreter a new one has begun so let's start with the our coding so by which we can see everything step by step so what is mean by the reading and writing files first i would like to explain about the open function in the file handling so first we are going for the first part that is known as the working of the open function so uh, let me write something over here uh, working with open function so if it is a function so i need to use the parenthesis please keep in mind so i am writing here uh, let me give some introduction about this uh, function so before performing any operations on the file like reading or writing first uh, we have to open that file for this we should open python's inbuilt function that is known as a open so as i have written over here that is open function we have but at the time of the opening we have to specify the mode which represent the purpose of the opening file so if you remember the file handling in the c++ c and the java if you have done then there are various mode which are known as the rw it means reading operation reading mode writing mode what we want to do so its syntax would be very simple that is a uh, i'm writing here for a shorting way the syntax could be the syntax would syntax would be uh, any variable name that is i am taking the f equal to open and in uh, it requires two parameters what are two parameter file name and its mode so i am taking the file name and its mode so this mode could be the read mode write mode of course definitely we have a various modes so i will explain one by one don't worry from this point we have a uh, the different mode i am speaking so first one we have a r mode so what is mean by the mode mode means in which mode you want to open your file reading mode writing mode if i am opening the my file in a reading mode so what i can do i can just read only so writing will not be applicable that's a, a point we have to keep in mind if i'm opening my uh, file in the writing mode so i can read as well as the writing so i can do the both thing so i am just writing here r means reading only if i am writing the w means for the writing and um, undoubtedly reading will be applicable so r means open an existing file for the read operations w means writing a file or the open an existing file for the writing operation 
if the file already contains some data then it will be overwritten it will be overwritten means which are data which is already available so then it will be overwrite if i'm using the a a means append okay. a means append so append means the data which are already written into the existing file but i would want to write something data on the same file so it will not overwrite it will write the data from the end of the file that is a ul i'm already speaking so from the end of the file from that point or from that pointer my data will be written to the my file that is the point you have to keep in mind and other other mode we have the r plus r plus mean to read and write data into the file but the previous data in the file will be overwrite that is a point so i have the r plus there is also read and write read and write but data will be over written okay you can write overwrite no issue next mode we have w plus w plus means you read and write data but it will or it will overwrite the existing data that's the point so next we have a, a w plus unlike a, a r plus w plus we have a plus as well so we have the these are the modes a plus means to append and uh, and uh, read the data from the file but it will not overwrite the existing data so that's the point i can write over here uh, r plus and w plus will be similar so no issue i can write for your note purpose here it will read write so data but data will not be i can write the data will not be overridden that's a few things we have to keep in mind so let us understand the thing by the help of the simple example so the everything will be clear in your mind as well so i am just uh, trying to create the first program over here for the file handling so let us understand the first example example so here i am writing the first program that is a f is a my variable and i am opening a file this file i am opening so i am giving the file name that is a uh, uh, my name i am giving over here and the file should be txt only and you have to keep in mind in which mode you want to read your file is a read only or write only so you have to keep in mind so first i am using the read only if this file contains some information then i can easily see how we can see okay and now in the next file in the next time what i am doing with the help of the loop i can print the some data over here for each in the file so we can say right for each in the uh for uh, each in the file so that is we have a f colon and uh, print each so what it will do it will print the each and every character one by one let me see this file does not exist the no such file and actually exist so yes we are true because we have not created a file so how we can do this thing that's the point we have to keep in mind so what is our objective first we need to create a file so without creating file how you can open that's the point okay so this is a point you need to create a mind so what we have to do we have to first create a file okay so now this point is clear the file doesn't exist so how we can read is it true any doubt yes tell me any doubt you have file doesn't exist so how we can write the data is it true or not okay so uh, what i have to do before this one i have to create a create yes anyone who want to speak for example of reading a file but this is does not exist so what i have to do let us create the example to create a file create a file we have to use a function which is known as a write okay 
so uh, or uh, uh, with the help of the write function we can do or instead of the write function uh, first we have to open the our file in the writing mode and we can use the write function or uh, then we can write the everything on the our file so let us understand the with the help of the simple by simple so i am creating a, a file f1 equal to open and now i am creating a file this will the my file same file i am creating txt format as i told you many times in the write mode okay and then with the help of the write method i can write the content on the my file so what is syntax f1 dot write f1 dot write and now i need to write something over here just i am putting the my name over here full name i am just putting over here and next line i want to do something so i can do something like this way all right i am putting the this statement okay okay this is all these things are going on so what you will do the first statement will write the this statement my name over here okay and in the continuation manner the second statement the vat open university will write so let me put the space over here to distinguish the both letters or to have the some gap between the both letters now this one after this one i need to close a file because i don't want to use uh, this file more so i need to close with the help of this example i can easily see what i have written on the my file so example to create a file that is the my name dot txt okay so biran dot txt is my name of the file so i'm creating in the writing mode okay so create a file using uh write w mode okay that's simple way i can write let me execute this code and see what we are getting is it created or not now so you can see this file is created perfectly there is no issue and now after creating this file let us read the every state uh, every letters from this file so how we can read with the write mode i can read so i am just executing this code once again over here now you can see the output is perfectly visible over here it means earlier i had a problem the file doesn't exist but now the file is existing so i can read each and every character from the file one by one now this is the concept we have to keep in mind so before reading anything your file must be exist but if it doesn't exist then we can recreate our file so with the help of the write mode or uh, with the help of the open method and the write mode we can also create that's a simple way now this is this is clear to right now everyone it is clear or anyone who need to ask any question is it clear to all one how to create a file by the help of the write method uh, write mode and open method please keep in mind is it okay right now shall we move to the next program yeah okay so now uh, after reading this concept we have uh, something uh, we can also read now we have read the okay uh, we have read the uh, data from file by using open method and r mode we can also we can also read the data from the file by using read method okay so this is a point we have to keep in mind so how we can read same file that is already available uh, here in the our uh, pool that is a uh, bin.txt we can read so i'm just creating the another object f2 open same file i want to read yes i am reading .txt with the help of the read mode i am using so rather than the putting the loop i can read my file contained by using the read method so there is a more than one way to read a file in the python programming if you need to extract a string that may contain all characters in the file then we can use refile dot read method so we can do how we can do print and what is the object name that is the f2 f2 and f1 and fr these are the objects of the file okay this is the point we have to keep in mind this f2 f3 are the objects variable to read the data or to write the data on the file please keep in mind okay and with the hello the read method i can do okay. 
Now let me execute this code and see what we are getting. So we are also getting the same result. It is similar to the our, our previous example. So we can also read the data one by one by the loop, or we can also use the read method to put the everything clear. Other than this one, we have another way to read a file to call a certain number of the characters, like in the uh, uh, code we have seen. And the interpreter will read the first five or six character in the store into the data. So we can also read some like this one. So how we can see? I'm just copying this code and just changing a little bit over here. So what I'm changing, I'm keeping this F3. And I want to read from this file only the five first 10 characters only. So I'm putting the this statement. So what the statement is telling to us, uh, will read first 10 characters from the string. This is the point, please keep in mind. So I need to put the F3 here and I'm executing this code, you can see. So it is reading the first 10 characters only. Okay, so the, this is a, you can make count. Okay, you can easily count it over here. So you can see first 10 characters I'm able to read. Okay, so it would be the my name and one will consider space and next one is a S. So this is the first 10 characters we can also read it. That is the beauty of the read functions. We can also go this part. So as I told you a couple of the minutes ago, we can also create a file by using the W mode, using undoubtedly using the write, uh, using the write mode and undoubtedly followed by the open method. We need to use the close method to that command terminates all the resources in use and freeze the system to particular program. That's why we have used the f1.close. So now the question comes in our mind. Suppose uh, uh, I want to write something on this existing file. L let me take some example. Suppose uh, uh, I'm just uh, want to copy this code right now for a few seconds. I just want to the same thing. So I'm just changing this f1 to f4, f4, f4. F4. So if I'm just writing something to the my file, just like uh, I'm taking the temp, okay, and I'm just uh, putting nothing, I'm just putting these two statements on there. Who's that? Then, then I want to print, okay, I want to print f4.read. So what it should print? VIT. Yeah, temporary and BIT both will be printed. So what it will be open? The this file bin.txt will be overridden by the two words bin and BIT. Let us see. Okay. Okay, this is already closed. That's why I'm unable to read. So I need to read. Okay. I can't close before it's reading. Okay, and uh, not readable. Which one? Uh, okay, okay. So F four is open. This one and uh, where we are getting the error is uh, F one I'm using and uh, F one is closed. Okay. By the help of the I'm close. So by the help of the, this file, I'm just uh, trying to read something. Print or read. Okay, it's uh, true. No problem. Okay, uh, I need to use this one f4 dot uh, open uh, this one uh, with an dot txt in read mode. Okay, so then let me check. Uh, object has no attribute open. Oh, sorry, uh, equal to let us check. Yeah, so you can see uh, now you can also use uh, this one close right now. No issue. So close uh, we as a method. So I have to use parenthesis now. There's no issue. So you can see this is the program which defines that. Now I can write the following code. Bill. Overwrite. 
overwrite the existing data into dot txt file so this is the things we have seen over here that is also true so now data will be overwritten so to avoid such thing what we can do yes can anyone help me right now if i want to avoid such things so how we can do what is the thing you can append yes that's good so which we can help you use the append modes by which we can troubleshoot troubleshoot the problem so i'm just doing so let us use append mode that is a i can pick okay to avoid to avoid the overwriting okay so this is the point we can say overwriting i'm taking the f5 equal to open same file i'm using i'm not changing my file because i'm working with the same file only now what i have to do i have to use the a okay f5 dot write that is a method to write the data on the file so here i am writing the my name over here okay rather than the my name let us change something over here i am just taking the this name only okay and uh, another statement i want to write more so you can write uh, like this way you can write only single no issue okay so uh, for understanding purpose i am just closing okay Sure. And I can also read once more in the open mode. I can read this file, okay, to avoid the thing. And uh, by the read mode, undoubtedly. And then we can also print printer uh, f five dot read. Yes. Let us check is it working or not. Now see where we have. Uh, okay, this is uh, okay. Yeah. So now you can see this is added at the. Can you tell me right now why it is adding twice? Yes. Tell me. So why it is uh, every time it is added? Can you tell me right now? Yes, it's very simple answer. I am just expecting answer from you, sir. See, every time we are trying to append, so first it was append Golu, and next time I am executing. So multiple time I am executing, so multiple time this name will be added at the end only, nothing else. Okay. See, if I am changing something, I am changing X Y Z. Suppose, so now I am executing this code. So at the end, this X Y Z will be added. Okay, this is the reason. So why? Okay, I can write over here. Why Golo is Golo word is added multiple times because because code is code is executed many times. This is only reasons. This is on this is the only point. Okay, so now this append is clear right now. Everyone, it is clear to all append. Yes, sir. So uh, there are also some various other commands to handle the all these things. So uh, we have a, a R strip or L strip. That is the, the R strip function. Just strip the each line of, of spaces from the right hand side. 
analytic function step each line of the file uh, file of spaces from the left hand side so these two function we will see while we we'll discussing about the piping the data stream that part we will see that all so here we need to see only the basic basic right now today what we can do so it is designed to uh, uh, provide the uh, uh, much uh, kill, uh, cleaner syntax and exception handling so that when we will see the more part in the exception handling data handling then we will see so when you are working with the code so that uh, explains why it is good practice to use them with the statement so we are applicable uh, this is helpful because using this method any files open and we close automatically after one is done so this is known as the auto clean up so no need to use the again again open and close method so we have to do this activity by the simple way so uh, we have another things if you remember the many things by the with method with method is a good method in the python library we can also use so with help of the with uh, method or uh, with functions we can say we can also write the uh, our uh, information we can also read some information easily so i am taking a very simple example this example will help you to more give it you so uh, uh, by using uh, with method by using with method we can also read read the file that is a point please keep in mind read the file so i am writing very simple syntax with keyword i have to use and here i have to use the open and i need to use the my same file name that is a uh, okay you can also create the multiple files as according to demand and you can also do and as uh, f6 that is only the object i am taking right now and here uh, uh, i need to variable uh, uh, data okay so data is equal to and uh, what is object name f6 dot read it will store okay so uh, we can also do this one so let us check is it working or not so it's working okay so we can also open the or we can also read the some information with help of this one and uh, let me try something to print a uh, data what is having by this one so see we can also print the same thing so no you need to use every time the function inside the uh, print function okay so read function is not applicable or not required to use many times in the our print function we can also use a simple way like this way we have also do so with the help of the with method we can also read the file in easily way okay this is the point so we can also use a write method like this way okay so i am just uh, trying to uh, do something for you by uh, with method we can also we can also uh, write the data into a file okay uh, into a to a file so we can also do so same same thing we can also do with the uh, open and undoubtedly we can also create a file with the help of this one so uh, i am just trying to create a, a, a new file this time is a temp.txt okay temp.txt in which mode write mode so how i can do okay so here i need to define or specify the mode okay and as as is just nothing which define the aliasing so i can define the t and with the help of the t i can write something so with the help of the write method i can write something so here i am writing just a random uh, uh, letters i want to write so i am writing the letter randomly and with the help of the print i can try to print everything over here and see what i getting over here what it will print so you can see this is not printing anything can anyone tell me right now yes can anyone tell me why it is not printing t it is printing t actually me but it defining that you are trying to print the objects actually so what is the object it has the object name this is the temporary uh, object is having the file name the tmp.txt and mode is this one to about thing what you have to do to about read thing, about, call read method uh, 
Uh, yes. If you can also use a read like this one. Okay. Let us try. So it see input output operation is closed file. Okay. So this is the reason what we have to do. T one dot open. And temp file we can also open uh, in the read mode, and then we can also go this one. And here we can also read a example T one. Okay, let us check. So here now we are able to see everything because with the help of the bin method, it is automatically closed. No need to, as I told you. So with the help of the bin method, what we are getting? I'm writing for you here. So uh, with the uh, bin method. Uh, with method file will be closed auto okay automatically if you couple of the minutes ago i told you so this is the only reason why we are getting the error because why we are why uh, i can write over here just like this word statement so uh, t dot uh, or okay uh, t dot read we try to do uh if you try to do this one so this will report an error cause cause file will be closed automatically due to having Due to having bit matter, because we have done the thing by the bit matter. Okay, this is for understanding purpose. I can write over here. So this is only reason. So I need to use expertly I to open the file and then read the matter. This is only beauty of this one. So this is other small small thing will help to write everything. Will help to motivate us to write a program and do everything. So uh, uh, let let me take the uh, some important function uh, split method. Let us try. We can also split our lines by uh, uh, by using the file handling concept in the Python programming. And this splits the variable when space is encounter. So you can also split using the any character as we wish as we can do. Uh, let me try to do something. So let me explain the code right now. Uh, uh, we can also. Split the uh, lines, or we can say yes. Uh, we can split the variables when the spaces count. So lines we can so uh, let us check. We can also split the lines when space is uh, encounter encountered. Okay. Let us check. Uh, let me try to create something. And uh, here I'm just trying to uh, open the file. Open the file. My temporary file I'm opening because I have the space. Uh, temp dot txt in the read mode. As a, a t2, I'm taking the another variable to avoid the confusion. Okay, t2 I'm taking. And uh, with the help of this one, I am taking the data variable. So in the data, everything will be stored. So with the T2 variable, I can also use a read lines. Please keep in mind, read lines is a method. So read lines method will read the lines. Okay. And uh, next, I have to use another variable for L is my temporary variable in on uh, data. So data I am taking colon. And uh, so w is a my variable which is used for the words. Okay, then I can also use the line that is l dot split and dot split and uh, I need to print the uh, w here only. So wh what I'm doing uh, with the help of the this concept. This uh, with open temporary txt file will read we read the file in a read mode only, and t2 is the object. Okay, t2 is the object, 
and uh, t with the help of the t2 object i am reading all the lines uh, when the space is uncounted so it is counted by the two lines one is a uh, kj or something like df and then kj or something kd and for l so every lines l means for every line in the data which is having got the multiple lines so we can also split the our we can also split the our all the lines by the space when the space is encountered so when the space is encountered between this f and k then automatically your word will be split it so let us check this code what we are getting is it true or not our code is working or not so now we are getting the everything our code is working perfectly so now we can say two words are represented so here we can do everything as our required as we can do okay so what i'm just doing i'm just trying to copy this code and i'm just before this one i would like to write something to the my code in a specific format so everything will be clear in your mind okay this is a simple statement i have taken uh, first i'm just uh, using the writing mode and then i'm trying to open this file as a writing mode okay so let us check yeah so you can see each and every words are categorized into the separate form by this way so we are storing information in the line form so we can also get it so this is the video of this one so we are storing the information to the array format okay so uh, let me write some remark over here a remark what we can get it a remark so every each word not every each word will be stored into array array form to represent to rep, to represent or to represent that when space is encountered space is encountered then then i am putting the comma no need to write the then keyword uh, not a word will be can use so space is encountered and then then uh, form to represent that or when the space is encountered then it is done for each line here how many lines this one uh, let me write something more could be so i am writing something more could be this one i am let, let me try to add a more some statement so this statement i am just trying to write uh, something uh, uh, temporary is a uh, library just just nothing else i'm just in the only the learning purpose okay let me check what we can get it so you can see from the this point now temporary library is also added so this is the point now in there is no gap between the student and the temp so i need to put a space over here when i'm putting the space then i can easily see the space between the these two points okay because student temp are adding together or no space were there now i am adding the space and now let's see the result so this is the point this is the beauty of the our split method we can do okay so that is the point this split method will be more applicable while discussing the string so if you have studied the string functions or formation in the python programming and this will be similar to like this one and this is the beauty of this one so we can also do so like this one we have a many python methods so i'm speaking one more once close close is open the file and no effect in the file is already closed okay so we can also uh, uh, clear the buffer so how we can clear the buffer which are stored into the memory that is flush so flush is also the method which is used to uh, uh, flush the right buffer on the data stream which is already written on the our file as well so we can also do so this is also clear the memory actually buffer means memory so we can also do so this this are also some additional read lines we have also used the purpose of read line over here read lines please keep in mind we have a read line or we have all the read lines okay so here what we are using we are using the read lines because we are using the multiple lines that's why we have similar to read lines we have a read line read line is basically uh, read the read and returns one line from the file 
read it uh, reads in the at most n number of the part in the specified what we are specifying but it read lies is actually what it reads the returns the list of the lines around the files there's a little bit difference we have to keep in mind let us check one by one this statement if i'm using the read line rather than read lines what we can get it let us check yeah there's a difference between the read line and read lines so please note it down okay each and every characters we can also split that is a point so you can also use the read lines okay i, I can write over here use read line see some changes okay this will be help you to understand the concept that's why we are using the relays okay uh, let me okay so everything i'm storing to the my this one over here so google collab no issue sure. so uh, like this one we have a tell and okay so tell written the integer that represent the current position of the file we can also use right we have seen unlike the right or read lines we have a right lines as well we can also write the number of the lines to the file as well that's the beauty so there are n number of the functions we have we can also utilize all these function to write the our program in python programming in simple way this is a point so this is just introductory idea about the how to read the file how to write the file and these are the simple concept we have seen today basic simple form okay so this is the point